All right, guys. So uh, we're just gonna do some quick examples. Okay, if, if you think you got this, uh, feel free to scroll around to just check your answers. But if you didn't get it, okay, you know who you are. Okay, make sure you guys kind of listen through this video. Okay. So uh, again, hi, I'm Bran. Just uh, checking in for Mr. Wynn. Uh, he said you guys are a great class. But anyways, okay, let's focus. Oh, no, nah, wrong button. Ah. All right. Okay, so uh, we're supposed to find the variables. Okay, this should be pretty quick. Okay, this isosceles triangle, both sides are congruent, which means its opposite sides are congruent as well. So if this is 2x. Then angle R right here, I'll use a different color. Angle R right here has to be 2x as well. Okay. So all the angles of a triangle, of course, add up to 180. Do a little math magic. Okay, 4x equals 140. X should equal 35. Okay, boom. Okay, if you guys want, you guys can totally pause it right here. Okay, pause right here to give yourself a chance. Okay, please pause it if you need to work on it on your own, okay, to make sure you are not cheating yourself. Okay, so uh, for here, okay, these two angles are congruent, right? So initially, we don't know that the sides are congruent yet, but since these two angles are congruent, then we know its opposite sides are congruent, okay? So then we can set them equal to each other. And boom, boom. So it's going to be x equals 12, right? Easy. Okay, over here, it's starting to get a little complicated. Okay, we know that these sides are congruent. Okay. The sides are congruent, um, the angles have to be congruent. So I'm just going to label them angle x. Okay. But what do you notice about the fact that this angle is 60? If this angle is 60, then the remaining angles here, these have to be 60 degrees as well, right? Okay. If you guys don't believe that, I'm going to show it real quick. 60 plus x equals 180. 60 plus 2x, okay, x would equal 60, okay? And so once you have that, okay, once you know that they're all equal angles, okay, of course, equal angular, equal angular will lead to the fact that the triangle is a equilateral, okay, which will make all sides equal. So now I can set 3x plus 8 is equal to 4x minus 4. Okay, and this should get you x equals 12. Okay. Boom. Okay, last one here. Okay, last and of course the easiest one. Okay, we know these angles have to be equal since we have an equal lateral triangle. Okay, so 4x equals 60, divide both sides by 4, boom, magic. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, feel free to check your answers real quick. And let's move on to the proofs. Okay, feel free to pause the video anytime you want. All right, on to the good stuff. Okay, so we have our given. Okay, given a triangle ABC is an equilateral. What? It's an equilateral. So all the sides are equal, right? I'm just going to mark it all up right there. All sides are congruent. Okay, and this is our given, right? It is uh, equal. I'm just going to shorten that right there. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Okay, and it's given. If you guys want to continue practicing your proofs, just pause it right here. Okay, I'm gonna let you know this is just a this is a four oops, better. This is a 
four step proof okay so it's four steps okay so pause it right here uh, let's work on this on your own pause it yet all right good pause it and okay so uh, let me give you the answers real quick welcome back if you just paused it if not you totally should have paused it okay so we know that equilateral and angle one is congruent to angle two okay and so what uh, what else do you know about equilateral triangles All right what do we know okay let's first state everything that we see right here a b is congruent to what c b okay and what else what else what else angle a it's going to be congruent to angle C. And this is because definition of an equal lateral, lateral triangle. Okay. Okay. And now step three. Okay. What do we already see here? Do we have an angle? See this in blue. All right, we have an angle, we have a side here, and we have that angle, right? Okay, so this is angle, side, angle. So we can see that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. And number three, the reason for this is because angle side angle congruence okay now once you have that angle is a d b is congruent to angle c d b okay which is these angles right here okay a d b right here is congruent to c d b and that's because of CPCTC. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, feel free to uh, do this last proof right now on your own. Okay, just pause the video. Okay, in about like 10 seconds, it's going to just show the full solutions. Okay. So please pause the video here and attempt the second proof. All right, guys. So here is the solution okay to the over here okay that's the solution okay uh, and that is it for uh, the notes okay this is essentially the next chapter and it was pretty quick so we kind of did a video on it and Mr. Wynn just wanted me to let you guys know that he will not be in class tomorrow he will be at a district meeting to learn about new cool geometry geometry stuff that he can teach you guys uh so yeah um tomorrow there will be a sub it will just be a worksheet okay you guys should be able to finish it in class and have no homework tomorrow okay so uh enjoy your three-day weekend and uh please try to relax okay breathe a bit if you can okay and um don't stress about the quiz okay it's only worth 15 percent okay um, just make sure you prepare a lot for the test which will not be next week. The test will be sometime after Thanksgiving. Okay. Anyways, okay, Mr. Wynn just hopes you guys have a great night and uh, have a great three-day weekend. Okay. Bye, guys.